Well, look at that. We got a whole bunch of crates. 5,000 Terra Tokens. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. I'm Serta, and welcome back to Planet Crafter Development Branch. It seems that this will be the last development branch release before the full release of this update comes out. So this is the release candidate. We are back in the custom game, so we can show you a few things that have changed. And a shout out to Dion K and Starhopper. You guys have been very helpful. But we have a couple of things to look at, so let's get stuck in. In case you missed my previous videos, well, there are a couple more biomes. This biome, being the beach biome, is really pretty. And this is where we're going to start our little expedition. As you know, there is a chest down here. Let's see. Now, hold thumbs, effigy. Oh, there is a golden effigy. A fuse. Okay. Still waiting for the darn frogs. Anyway, we've got a new effigy. So that's brilliant. And uh, a few other things. While we're here, uh, there are a couple of... Oh, there we go. There, there are a couple of these uh, frog egg spots. And this one has the Amado eggs. So, okay, I'm going to grab those. And then there's another one somewhere. There we go. And it, this one has the generic frog eggs. I don't really need those, so I'm just going to leave them there. One thing I'd like to do here as pointed out by Eon K, is I'm going to put a water life collector right there. And just to be safe, I'm going to put another one down just there. All right, those will take a while to get going. Uh, so we're going to head over to the lava biome, the volcanic biome. Right, we are here in the volcanic biome. There is another chest, another golden chest. Now, there, there may be more. Uh, I only know about these two, but once again, if you missed the, the video, we are facing the ship and it's in the southeast of us, so we're heading northwest down this little corridor and there's an arch over here and we're going to come into this area, not go under the arch, but turn this way and go into this cave and we're going to fly across the lava, which is sometimes not so easy to do but this little ledge here uh there is something underneath it oh, right over here and if you're really careful you can get in here without actually getting burnt by sticking to the sides another golden crate and awesome another golden effigy uh i'm not really worried about all of these things right now because this is just a a demo play more demo save so we're gonna get out of here so in case you haven't seen this area before this is actually quite spectacular and uh you can get hurt uh lava is hot the floor is lava so stay on the rocks let's see if they've done anything with the jetpack why won't my jetpack fire okay so it doesn't work so well going over the lava or it didn't before unless you looked up and it looks like they fixed that you actually do hover over the lava now without falling in that's good news and also for those that didn't know i will go through the all the changes when when it comes out into early access so you know this is just dev branch there might be a couple of things added before the the next stage there are three of these little frog ponds and they have lava frogs uh, lava um frogs and uh, i've picked up the eggs here already and we have one set up at the base which you may have seen in the intro but yeah there, there are three of them in this area and you can go and pick up those special frogs and there's this new wreck um i've been in i've checked it all the well most of the wrecks have a safe in them now and that safe contains valuable stuff including fuses and these give you a boost or you know whatever they are so this one will increase your production this one will increase your plant growth these will increase your energy supply but i see they've changed the numbers uh the power multipliers are now only 150 percent and not 2500 percent as it was before 
Uh, plants are still 2,500%. And uh, production time divider. Okay, so things work four times faster, maybe? Anyway, that'll be interesting to check out and we'll experiment with how they work once we, once we get into early access. But yeah, time to head back to the little base. Another thing, in case you weren't aware, the game now has a creative mode where you can customize your game and that allows you to build stuff without having the materials on you. So if you wanted to, I don't know, build a... What's expensive? One of these nuclear fusion generators. You just put it down. If you want to build another one, you can. And rockets are a total breeze, so you can launch hundreds of them. Literally hundreds. But let's go and see what these effigies look like. In case you weren't aware, the effigies are ornaments. So if you right click on them, you can actually place them. So it's not like you have to stand and, you know, drop them. And then you can use your middle mouse wheel to rotate them. And there we go. We have a golden effigy of a fuse. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to thumbnail one of these in good light. All right, I've been messing around a bit. So let's go and have a look at those life water collectors that we placed out at the beach and see if there's any anything interesting in them. Ah, oh, yes, nice. It's falling, so it's going to get dark. Let's have a look quickly. Uh, there we go. Galbe. Galbia. We have a new... We have a new fish. With a 450% multiplier, it's not bad. And there's two of them here. We're going to have to check those out. So that's out in the, the beach biome. It is getting dark now, so uh, I will see you in the morning. All right, I did spend a little bit of time roaming around and I didn't find any more golden crates. But uh, yeah, just in case you guys are wondering, there, there is one up top. Uh, access is pretty easy from the other side. There's kind of a ramp up there where those two little trees are. Uh, there's another one under the water over here. Um, and, and you have to kind of go really close to it. Wait, have I got the right spot? Well, I think uh, things have changed because the little ledge that was over here that the golden chest was under is no longer there and there's no chest anymore. So, okay, that's that's interesting. I wonder if it's been relocated. Yeah, there's another one up top over there. I think you can maybe just see the little yellow dot up on that little rock. There's another one uh, in a little cave underneath the... Uh, that area but yeah i just want to have a look at the fish so i'm going to build myself a little aquarium in this huge empty room and we're going to pop both of them in oh look at that oh those do look pretty nice it looks like they've added a new style of fish because these don't look like the others yeah, there were i think there were like two other styles but these look really nice and a 450% multiplier. Right, another thing that uh, you may want to pay attention to is uh, there's a new resource in the game, Obsidian. Now, Obsidian has its uses because there is a map that you carry with you, so you don't have to go to the map screen anymore. You can just press M and there's a map. And it does everything that a normal map does. You can zoom out, you can pan, and there we go. Okay, so... You're just carrying it with you and you will be at the center of the map and i'll be back after this noisy event that's incoming but as i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted wait it's not finished okay now it's finished okay so in order to make the map chip you actually need obsidian so that's something to bear in mind and you can find obsidian you not just in the lava area you can mine for it there and find it all over the ground but you will find it in chests and crates in various places around the map not terribly difficult to get your hands on a little bit and then of course there's these two weird looking things uh, these are optimizers they give you a boost you put your fuses in them and they boost the machines in the area uh, i'll get into more detail on them at another time or if you want to go back and have a look at the other videos the previous videos on this uh, update there's a bit more information the tier one doesn't require obsidian but the tier two requires three obsidian i think yeah so you need three obsidian to make those but these are pretty late game i think uh, you know you'll be pretty well established but if you know that they're coming uh, you can plan for them and have uh, machines set up 
to take advantage of them. So the, the tier one takes one fuse, so you can boost one type of thing. The tier two takes three fuses, and they stack as far as I can tell. Uh, that might change in the final release, I don't know, but we will get into that. We started with a crate asteroid, looks like we're going to finish off with a pulsar asteroid. Man, these things are very, very loud. Oh, there you go. Conveniently located close to the base if I ever want pulsar. But unless anything major changes, this will be the last in the dev branch update. So in the next video, normal programming will resume. Okay, folks, while I was editing the dev branch video, early access version was launched and uh, it's now available to update in Steam and it seems to be working pretty well. My old save loaded without a hassle, so it's looking great. Uh, the map, I have still got the map on me and there are the two new biomes in the south. So I thought I'd just slot that in just so that everyone is aware the new update is out and available on Steam. If you like this video, give us a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications. Leave me your comments, tell me what you think of this update. It hasn't been as big as the previous ones, but I know that they spent a lot of time upgrading the game engine, and they're pretty good at sticking to their schedule, so I'm assuming that a final version 1 will be coming out uh, in the not too distant future. Thank you all very much for your support. Thank you everyone who's been contributing in the comments. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And until the next time, cheers.